Good afternoon, Smith family. It's Thursday, time for that Smith Transport weekly newscast to take place starting off this week. Before I do anything else, I want to bring your attention to three Soaring Eagles we've had recently. So the Soaring Eagle program uh, was established by Joe Musselman, our VP of Ops, um, a few years ago. And it was uh, when a motorist or someone calls in to compliment our drivers on going above and beyond in kindness or, you know, lending a hand, any Anything. We get the call. Um, we award them a soaring eagle. So they get a hat with a soaring eagle um, wrote on the side of it and gold thread. It's the only way you can get it. And also a gift certificate to Eagle Unlimited, our company store. So we were so blessed back to back weeks to have three amazing soaring eagles. And I want to take a moment first and foremost to recognize these drivers. Isn't it good to share good news? I mean, I just love when we get these phone calls and we get to acknowledge drivers that really do go above and beyond. So this week on the news segment, we have what's cooking with Peggy and warning, do not watch the segment while you're hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I did the editing, creating this video that she said us. She said it in a few pieces, and I was starving at the end of the day yesterday when I was trying to put it all together. But she makes unstuffed pepper soup, and again, you know, we have lots of families that go camping on the weekends, and they found the what's cooking segment is pretty great because they can use the same things um, while they're camping that you use in your truck cooking. And Wally Anthony, make sure you watch the segment because Peggy talks about you too. Of course, we'll have our amazing photos of the week and Smith anniversaries with Rob and Gary. So last week, um, I was the guest host and Gary made a statement that if he had votes, that he would sing a song. Well, Melissa Simon, who works in safety at our Ellenwood Terminal, must have put into some motion some people sending requests because I got about seven requests for Gary to sing Friends in Low Places. And when I told he and Rob, they started to sing and I didn't tell them that I was recording. So surprise! Um, after the Smith anniversary segment, you will see them singing Friends in Low Places and you need to see it. It's funny. Um, so that's it for me. We're going to have a couple payroll minutes. We have some new uh, items for sale on Eagle Unlimited, so those will be coming up as well. Um, some new different types of embroidery and some new colors, so stay tuned for that, everyone. Have a great rest of your week and enjoy the newscast. Hey, everybody. It's Peggy back in the truck cooking. Um, tonight I'm going to be making unstuffed peppers. Um, while we were sitting at the uh, shipper today waiting to get loaded, don't waste any time, I started cutting up my peppers, my onions, got my hamburger on thawed this morning, and we're ready to start cooking. First of all, I'm going to use my vegetable oil, um, olive oil, spray my pan, already got to heat it up. I'm going to dump in a half a pepper. Half a red pepper. A half a green pepper. And one small onion. I'm going to saute this, cover it until it's half way cooked. The onions and peppers should be al dente. So we're going to let that sizzle up. Okay, that was about five minutes. Just soften, soften up our vegetables. 
Now I usually do about a half a pound to three quarters of a pound of hamburger and I freeze it ahead. So it's all pre-packaged. This looks like a little more than that. My daughter must have helped me with this one. Now I'm just gonna break it off, mix it into my vegetables here. I'm gonna cook this all up really easy. Okay, it's all mixed in. Oops, I'm spilling it. I'm a little nervous here. Um, once the hamburger is completely cooked, we will move on to the next step. But just keep moving it around and all of it will cook up nice. You want to make sure the hamburger is cooked though. And that will also help your vegetables cook. Alright, my meat's all cooked up. I'm going to add a half a cup of jasmine rice. You can use whatever you want, but I prefer jasmine, it's just a little bit sweeter. And then I'm going to add one cup of water into that. I usually buy a smaller can than this, but they were so cheap I had to buy the bigger ones. I'm going to use usually about, I think it's a 16 ounce can of tomato sauce. So about half of that. Mix that all in. Now I'm going to season this to our taste. You can add more or less of what you would like. I'm going to add salt and pepper. I like to mix the garlic powder and um, the minced garlic. Like I said, you're just gonna season it to your taste. There's no exact measurement. So here's the minced garlic. And my Italian seasoning. This is all cooked on about a medium temperature. My pepper. And just a little bit of basil for sweetness. No preservatives, no sugars. I like to make everything from scratch. Alright, you're going to cover this on low because it's already started to boil. Put it down on low, 20 minutes, and it should be done. Okay, it's all done, about 20 minutes. The rice is cooked all the way through. I'm turning it down. And while that was cooking, a couple of salads for supper and to top this off you can either add more tomato sauce and your more seasoning if you'd like some people like it dry some people like it wet I like to add cheese to the top of mine and just let it melt Wally Anthony this is a challenge for you. Let's see your video of cooking. Welcome to this week's edition of Smith Aversaries. Robert Miller, now of course he's sitting on his side because he always got to have that side. He, you know, he, he just said he felt out of his comfort zone last week and he was all anxious and he was sweating when he had to sit on this side of the table. So I, I made an exception and uh, I allowed him to sit on that side of the table for this week's edition of Smith Aversaries. So let's get started. If it makes you feel better, Gary, I won't say nothing. Okay, okay yes. Silence is always good. Celebrating with 32 years of service, Ron Civic. 25 years of service, Grove Dixon. 16, Junius Jarrett. 14, Willie Wiest. 11, Amber Lee Bartley. 9, Kenneth Four. 6, Ronald Miller. Hey, Ronald Miller. No Kenneth. relation. <laughs> no relation. <laughs> 
Brittany Prosser has five years. Thomas Panzino, three years. Brian Wilson, two years. Maxwell Summer, two years. Brandon Lechner, one year. Jonathan Foreman, one year. <laughs> David Rule, one year. Mark Duvall, one year. And Daniel Tort, one year. And that's it. This week's uh, Smith Averse. I, I guess I don't even. I guess I don't even exist. He did. <laughs> I. You did my whole list for me. So thank well, I you. I think if you recall, about thirty seconds ago, you said you weren't speaking today. So I just figured I'd do the list oh, myself. That's, I appreciate it. All that's, right. At least I got my chair. And back. this this concludes this week's edition of Smith Averse. And I won't be here say, next week because I don't have a list of everything. So. so it, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. So as we finish off this week's edition of Smith Adversaries, thank you. And remember, always be safe out there. It's very important to the, to the safety of our, our family, friends, your family, friends, everybody's family and friends out there in the road. So just remember, everything you do, be safe. Thank Take you. Take care. Have Congratulations, everyone. Yep. out there requests a song we'll make it a competition if if they if they request a song out there and maybe i'll do it one of these days last one to sing last one to show last last one one you thought you'd see <laughs> and the fear in his eyes when i toasted me <laughs> back here at Eagle Unlimited. So we have some super sales. First, I want to tell you about quickly the Drake Troutman t-shirts, $10 any size shirt. So get them while we have them. Limited uh, supply here. All of the long sleeve button down work shirts, $20. That's half off. Like this one was 40. Now they're all at 20. So make sure you stop at all, all kinds of colors. I mean, I can see from here there's maroon, there's hunter green, there's denim, there's of course black. Uh, tan, some pinstripes, so check those out. Now, the next three are brand new designs for the store. Now, this beautiful Smith Teal on Teal um, shirt, $35, made by Ugio. We also have a version of gray with a black uh, embroidered logo, also starting at $35 by Ugio. And we have an Eddie Bauer shirt. Um, this one has a pinstripe. I don't know if you can see up close. It's sort of a striped uh, fabric um, with a with an outline logo too and this one starts at 35 as well so stop by Eagle Unlimited she's open Monday through Thursday from 8 to 3 30 and Fridays from 8 to 3 stop in see Terry and check out the new selection <laughs> while I'm here at Eagle Unlimited I wanted to show you a new product they have called a wet bag these are ten dollars here at Eagle Unlimited so you put headed to the beach, you're going camping, uh, to, in the shower rooms, at the truck stop, or wherever you're at on your break. You can throw everything in there you want to keep dry, you can fold it down, and then it has a clasp on it that's smarter than me. Oh, I see it. And um, you can clip it together and carry it. It's so nice and handy, just $10 at Eagle Unlimited. 
Hey, big shout out for our Well Services team. I'm not sure if you had the chance to see the new bottles at Eagle Unlimited with the Well Services logo. I know the team out there is always looking for something with their logo on it, and now Terry has them stocked here at Eagle Unlimited. So this week on our What's Cooking segment, Peggy uh, shows us how she makes her unstuffed peppers. Um, and to do that, she uses an electric skillet, which we sell here at Eagle Unlimited. This model is a 12 inch electric skillet for $33.50. And also Terry said that she just got these. They're a beverage heater, so it plugs in um, to your outlet and you place this coil in your beverage and it keeps it hot or warms up soup or the instant cup of soups that you buy. You could use it for that as well to heat it up. These are $8 and our scaled um, tractor trailers, our die cast, we are down to just the Freightliner Cascadians. So this ends the series. Um, and these are the only ones left. And how much are they, Terry? 52. They're 52. So the last of these great collector's items. So we don't have any more ordered. So if you want to get yours, come get them now. Hey, what's up, Smith family? Steve Pross coming to you here for this week's Driver to Driver. I want to start out by saying thank you to everybody involved with the Smith team, Smith Nation, Smith family, the families out there that support us while we're out on the road as drivers. Big shout out to you guys. Thank you guys for everything you do, keeping us moving, keeping us supported and encouraged out here. Guys, this week I want to talk to you about something important. Um, we got a lot, a lot of holidays coming up, big travel seasons coming up with things opening up, you know, different states have opened up already, different things going on. guys. Be safe out there. Please focus on what you're doing out there. Drive like your family's beside of you. Just be as careful as you can. You know, we got construction coming back at us, construction zones. Guys, slow down out there in those construction zones. Pay attention to the signs. You know, you don't want to be the reason that somebody's family member doesn't go home at the end of the night because you weren't focused on what you were doing. I do want to say you guys are doing a great job out there. We are a great group of drivers here, you know. We are dedicated to excellence. I see it day in and day out, no matter where I'm at. A lot of the Smith drivers I come in contact with, good group of guys and gals out there to help everybody out. Also, another thing I want to talk to you about is everything's starting to open up. Different factories are starting to open back up. We're starting to ship and receive out of different places, you know, taking loads to different places. They may have new policies or procedures or different ways of doing things. Guys, please just bear with them. I see guys out here all the time, you know, losing their cool on the person behind the window or whatever. Guys, it's not their fault. They may not have been the person who implemented the policies or procedures out there. Just stay calm with them. Just do what they ask us to do. We are professional drivers. We are out here representing the Smith Nation. Guys, please, please just be calm with them. We will get through this together. We'll get through the things, the changes we need to get done. If you have a problem, Talk to your driver manager. They're there for us, they're there to help us. Big shout out to the driver managers out there as well. You guys do a great job keeping us rolling out there. And guys, continue to please be safe, you know. We, we, we're still not out of this all the way. We still have to continue being safe, washing our hands, you know, sanitizing, not touching our faces, wearing masks certain places. Guys, just, just continue to do that. Continue to be safe out there and everything you do. With all that being said, guys, we do get overwhelmed with a lot of things we see out here and a lot of things we're having to do. Sometimes we just gotta shut the news off, shut the radio off, you know, everything about this whole pandemic that's going on, take a break. You know, go outside, walk around, enjoy your hobbies whenever you're home. You know, just get away from it for a little bit. Guys, I encourage you to do that. It'll help you out a lot. You'll be more focused when you come out here to drive, when you come back off your break. You don't just sit at home and watch everything going on around you about the whole pandemic and thing that's going on, guys. And guys, as the warmer weather's coming at us, the heat will you know, make us a little more tired. Guys, plan your brakes accordingly. Make sure you're getting you know, plenty of hydration and everything in you, doing everything you need to do to stay healthy out here. Because guys, America does depend on us to stock the shelves and keep us going throughout this pandemic and everything that's going on. A big thank you again to everybody out there that supports us, our Smith family, our Smith nation. 
Guys, continue to please be safe, and we'll see you on down the road. Have a good day.